All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm four minute, six minutes late. Now, to be late is not something normal to be, like if you are a Middle Eastern. So, I mean, this is amazing to be a Middle Eastern and not to be late. That's uh, astonishing. Six minutes only. Usually, we are late only six hours, or six years, or even six centuries. The same as what happened to Muhammad, you know, he was six centuries late to tell us that Jesus was not in the cross. Only six centuries. Uh, now, six centuries is nothing in the history of Arabia, you know. We are behind in everything. Now, we know we always, there's a question we ask people about uh, what make uh, Quran and Islam is uh, from God. And the answer always is a silly, funny answer, like Quran have miracles. And when we uh, debate with Muslims, we cannot find those miracles, not even in one place. We cannot find any of the scientific claim they speak of, which is nothing but a fabrication, trying to false translation of the Quran to make it fit with science. But however, that will not work with somebody who's an Arab like me. Uh, Last time, I just remember now actually, uh, one of you, he sent me a message, says, can you, uh, CP, can you talk about Al-Maqqa, uh, which is the temple in, uh, temple in Yemen? Uh, you know, everything is in Islam is coming from somewhere. Everything is coming from somewhere. And one of the things proving that Islam is not what Muslims claim. You see, when people, they say, uh, I remember there's a guy, his name is uh, uh, James White. Uh, I saw him once in Mickey Mouse. And this guy, he is super smart. He said, there's no way Islam is from the... Uh, the uh, a person asked him, do you think the Muslims worship the moon god? The smart James White, he said, uh, no, for sure, no, because the Quran, there's a verse that says, don't worship the moon. It's very stupid to be a person who claimed to have a beach day I don't know where you got yours, but you do not know what the difference between worshiping the moon and worshiping the moon god. Uh, you know, the, 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 the idea of the transformation of God is not about the moon itself. It's about what this God is about. So this God, he transforms himself to images, and he is the moon god. Otherwise, you know, uh, we have a wrong understanding of what this uh, moon god means. However, a very easy proof that Islam is about the moon god. Not only Islam goes by the moon, not only the Muslim, they put a signal of the moon in the top of their mosque and nobody can explain to us why. And not only the fasting, the eating, the celebrating, everything is done by the moon, no. Not only that, you will find that in Yemen, and we explained to you before, there's a, a, a temple which is originally his its name is al makkah al makkah table or t t temple sorry uh, is the real name behind makkah you see in arabic in arabic because arabic is not really not not really a, a, like a, a language by itself it is a collection of languages. The name, the name is used today for this temple is the following.
the Mecca simply is replacing the letter key, replacing the letter Qa, which means Al Makkah. Al, we told you before, Al in Arabic today mean the. Al is equal to the in Arabic today. However, this is not about Arabic because this is exists before the Arab even was entering that country. Al here is a word meaning God. And Makkah mean the the name of the temple, you know. I'm not sure really exactly what that means, but this is the Makkah. So the God of the Makkah, the God of the Makkah, the God of the Makkah, Mecca, whatever you want to say it, it's the same. It is Mecca. So the temple is the temple of the God of the Mecca, which is the moon God. Mecca in Arabic today have different meaning. The word Arabic, the word Mecca today have a different meaning. And it doesn't make sense because this is the city of God where God, he built a house. So the Arabic doesn't match because simply this is not coming from the Arabic language. If you remember, Muhammad, he said in the Hadith that there is two things if you, if you touch them, if you touch them, Allah forgive your sin. Not actually not, uh, you know, they, they forgive your sin if you touch them, not Allah. They forgive your sin. Let us see if we can find the hadith. Mm, let's see. Here we go. Abu Abdul Rahman. Somebody's asking Abu Abdul Rahman, asking him, why do I only see you touching the, these two corners? Touching what? The two corners. What corners? He said, I heard the messenger of Allah says, touching them erases sin. And I had heard him here the translation is wrong saying whoever circumambulate seven time which mean around them it's like freeing a slave okay now here somebody might say you see Islam is uh, is encouraging to free slave now, as you see no it's the opposite Islam give you a choice Muhammad in order to make his followers follow him because they are lousy people who don't want really to practice anything so in order to, to, to force them, he said, if you disobey me, I will force you to free one of your slaves. And those people, they hate to do that. This is a big penalty. Their life is based on slaves. They don't do anything for a living. The slaves work. So in order now, Muhammad, he noticed that this is being tough. So he found a, a fiction reason not to slave the, 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 the free the slave if you commit sin or uh, not to obey something Muhammad he said. So what do you do? You go walk around the Kaaba seven times. There we go. So keep your slave. But now the important here, why if we touch those two stones or two corners, we are, our sin will be forgiven. This is simply coming from the moon religion, moon god religion. Where if you touch his stones and those stones coming from the moon God, from the moon, from the space, your sin is forgiven. If you if we go right now, <clears throat> let us do this. Hold on. Let me search in Google. Peace upon him. All right. This is a drawing made by Muslims. Let me show it on the screen. 
the website is called uh, what I'm not sure what the name life Saudi life in Saudi Arabia all right the Kaaba the Qibla of the Muslims this is a description uh, to teach you about uh, this uh, this uh, uh, Qibla you will see the Qibla have directions and the Qibla have a, a very important uh, section let me show you pictures better than this pictures will do better hold on all right this is better if you see with me here this is this is a corner of the Kaaba this is not the black stone corner this is different corner what is this corner is why the muslim here in the, in the, in the picture he is touching her touching those stones uh, in in uh, in you know like uh, uh, in a ritual way uh, as if he is touching his god and what the purpose of this this is what muhammad he said in the hadith if you touch them both which, which mean the black stone and the yemeni corner remember he said if you touch those two corners Two corners, you see it? So we have two corners are special in the Kaaba. The Kaaba have four corners, as you know. So there's two corners of them. If you touch them, not the rest, your sin is erased. Now, why in the world Muslims, they claim that they worship God and they are a religion of monotheism? And they don't believe in uh, worshiping many gods, or you know they don't worship uh, idols, stones, rocks. Why, if we touch a rock, that rock is going to forgive our sin? How our sin will be forgiven by touching the rocks? And the funny, the Muslims they say that you Christians are pagans. Why? Because some people they have a statues, or some people they pray in front of an icon. This is not really uh, for you know. If you read the Bible, you will see clearly in the book of Genesis it says, "Don't make any image of what is above in the sky, or what down in earth to worship. If you do it for the purpose of worshiping them as God, you are staying away. You are doing something wrong. You are committing sin." Islam teach the opposite. Islam claim that they are against worshiping statues and idols, but as you see, they believe that stones forgive sin. <clears throat> In different hadith Muhammad he said that the, the black stone is the right hand of Allah if you remember once a Muslim he told he called me and he said this is a weak hadith I mean that is a weak hadith doesn't make it not good because a weak hadith is a strong hadith for a very simple reason the second you give it a rank it is accepted weak is nothing is it doesn't mean it's rejected weak it's mean it's fine, but it's not the high rank. And what is rank is about? I mean, who is the one who put those ranks? Many centuries after Islam, you Muslims start trying to filter, but this is already filtered. The one who wrote those books already did the filtering. So how come it was not filtered in their time, but now it's going to be filtered in your time? Why it was good in their time? Otherwise, they would not write it down. So... Those hadith, and this hadith is a sahih hadith. This is not a weak hadith. Why those people did not make this hadith weak? Any Muslim can tell me this hadith is weak or strong. What do you say, Muslims? I will not be surprised if tomorrow uh, they, they start saying this is a the weak hadith because this is very embarrassing. Right, but it's not. Now, we go back to the pictures. As you see here, this is a corner which is a collection of stones. You see, the Kaaba is not really made from one kind of stones. It's a collection of stones, and the Kaaba today had nothing to do with the Kaaba in the time of Muhammad. Today, those rocks is built because the Kaaba been destroyed many, many, many times. You see, the Muslim they say. If you go to the chapter of the elephant, mashallah, the Quran is like a zoo. We have spider chapter, elephant chapter, the ant chapter. I mean, it's literally, 
you are in the zoo if you go to the Quran you will find there's a chapter it's called the chapter of the elephant okay what this chapter is about the Quran speak about something Allah he did something unique there's an army of elephants they came to destroy the Kaaba chapter 105 verse 1 2 3 4 5. I mean can you imagine that a whole amazing war between Allah now and a Christian army this is not between Muslims and no 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 Allah Allah himself Allah he sent his birds and those birds they are like the F16 at that time and they carry instead of carrying uh, uh, rockets they carry rocks made from mud and those uh, birds when this army of elephant came by the Ethiopian guy his name is Abraha who decided to destroy the Kaaba and build the church Allah he sent an army of birds who carry rocks and they throw rocks at the elephant and at the army and they destroy them now this story not only it's very stupid it's extremely stupid i mean it's beyond stupidity because how in the world somebody coming from africa is going to cross with his elephants all the way to mecca in case you do not know elephants they need at least 600 liter of water a day not only to drink they need water to cool their body they cannot walk in the desert even if you have a container of water with you to just to to uh, to make them drink still they will die because their skin cannot handle the heat this is why you see those animals in africa or in india they always need water either either to jump in inside the water or to spray on themselves like in case of the elephant they spray uh, but other any animals who they are the same as the elephant who don't have a uh, uh, their skin and don't allow them to sweat because the sweat is when you sweat simply you, this is your air condition this is your air condition those animals do not sweat so what their air condition otherwise they will they will overheat it and they will die it's like a machine you know See exactly this is how God he designed us so you have an air condition those animals don't have air condition so they need to cool themselves we are talking about Mecca can somebody look at the temperature at Mecca now what is the temperature at Mecca let me look hold on just to give you an idea let me go to Prophet Google okay all right now in Mecca it's very nice it's very nice because it is a 12 midnight it is 12 midnight this is how the temperature work as you see uh, 3 a.m. 6 a.m. etc. blah blah blah. I mean look how hot it is. This is at night Here we go to p.m. 108 And this is not even yet the season where things go crazy things go crazy there in August August is the burning month Now this is not Standing under the Sun. This is in the shade if you stand in the Sun you prepare yourself to be cooked literally all right now this is a shade thing uh, in in uh, in uh, let us see if we can change yeah right now it is 42 42 I mean this is nothing right 42 you will be dying what 42 42 in the shade 
So in the Sun you prepare yourself for 50 5 56 57 58 Literally you can go right now and watch videos and see how people they can cook their egg just by putting the the, the fryer outside in the Sun for not even two minutes not even one minute you put it outside you broke the egg it's cooked or you can even if you want to to make it very fast if the floor is if you have like a rock it's clean you know just to break the egg right away in the spot the egg will be cooked will be boiling so the temperature in this area is extremely hot how in the world an army of elephants can cross by same time the story not only is stupid because of that not because it's scientifically it's impossible but because uh, Allah got busted you can go there is videos and there is a, a, a speech made by Muslims Muslims sheikhs actually I translated once one of them and I paused it on YouTube this is my translation this is why like my the translation was not really I mean I made some mistakes I was using a, a software so anyway uh, the sheikh in the video was saying do you know that Al Kaaba was destroyed? Do you know destroyed by who? It was destroyed by Al Qurmuti. Now, Al Qurmuti is not the only one who destroyed it, Al Qurmuti is one of many. Al Qurmuti, the, what is unique about him, not only he destroyed the Kaaba, while his men destroying the Kaaba, he stood in the middle of the Kaaba, screaming at the sky, says, Allah, where are you? Where is your birds? Where is your birds? The one you sent them before, supposedly. How come I don't see your birds? Here we go. I destroyed the Kaaba. I took it stone by stone. He killed more than 10,000 Muslims by this attack. And by the way, he's a Muslim. But obviously, he don't believe. So he was exposing Allah. Where are you? Where is your flying birds where where is your f-16 he was a challenging Allah and the Kaaba was destroyed and not only that he stole the black stone and he make it as a pupu stone for more than 20 years 22 years according to Muslims 22 years this guy he sit in the top of the holy stone of Allah and he pissed in it and he do pupu in it and how the Muslims they get the black stone is it by Allah victory no did Allah send an army of birds to take it back no the Muslims they have to bribe this guy they contacted the ruler of Egypt and the ruler of Egypt he contacted him and says those people are offering you a lot of money what do you think it's a good deal give them this stupid stone so he agreed to give them the stone but obviously the stone he gave them is not the same stone they used to have before and why the hadith says that the stone when it was taken from the Kaaba, it was heavy. And when the stone came back to the Kaaba, to Mecca, let me see if I can find the hadith for you. Uh, Yeah, when, when the stone came back to the Mecca to Mecca sent back to Mecca they say the Muslim when they carry him it was very light and the Muslims because they are very small they say uh, the reason for that because the, the black stone was so happy to go back home but when he took it against its will the black stone was so heavy when the men of Al-Qurmati carry it this is must be a true story uh, well, I'm trying to find the hadith. Uh, about it. And by the way, after Al Qurmuti, he did what he did. A lot of people left Islam because they noticed that Islam is really. Imagine right now, 
uh, the Muslims they believe Allah protecting the Kaaba, you know, but the Muslims they don't have a, uh, they don't they are disconnected with their history, you know. Um, I'm trying. <clears throat> I'm trying to find an English version of the story until now there is no success Anyway, we will we will try to find it in English. If somebody can, you know, found it, please let me know. Uh, but obviously, I cannot find but maybe you can search and uh, for sure if I like I want to give it time I can find it um, anyway the story of the elephants is a very clear proof that uh, Islam is based on fictions and stupidity and one of the things here which is very clear proving that the one who made this story is an idiot if Muhammad claimed that he is worshipping the same God of the Christians, yet he called him Allah. All right. Why Allah? Why Allah? Want to send an army to destroy somebody when to build a house to worship Allah? You know what I mean? Why Allah? Because Abraham, he want to do what? Abraham, he want to build a church. And what the people do in the church according to Muhammad? They worship Allah. At that moment, the only ones supposedly according to Islam who worship the true God by name is the Christians and the Jews. So why Allah want to kill them? Remember at that time, this is before Muhammad. At that time, the Kaaba was full of idols and this is a state a place of, of pagans worshiping. Not only that, people they used to go naked around the Kaaba wearing no clothes. No, no clothes. Which again, very clear proof that Islam is based on a sexual religion. Why they want to go around the Kaaba totally naked in the state of nudity? If you have my book, value number one and two, which is called Sex and Allah, and called that name for a reason, read the book and you will see what the reason. Why they are going around the Kaaba naked? Because simply, this is a sexual religion. And not only that, Muhammad, after he took over the Kaaba and over Mecca, why the, those people, they are practicing such a thing, walking around the Kaaba naked? According to Muslims, the year where Muhammad or Muslims for, forbid, uh, or Muhammad forbid the Kaaba uh, to walk around the Kaaba naked is in the last of his time, you know, almost a guy is going bye-bye. However, what happened, a woman was going around the Kaaba naked, and Muhammad, he saw her naked, and he liked her, and he wanted to sleep with her, and he wanted her even to be his own, this female to be for him alone. No other man touch her. Actually, any woman Muhammad he touch, she is his woman. Nobody can touch. That's it. It doesn't matter who. Even if she is not a wife. 
so when Muhammad he saw this woman if you have my book you will read the reference when Muhammad he saw this woman walking naked and she was singing a song there's a song she is singing a song so she's walking around the Kaaba totally naked wearing nothing Muhammad he saw her and suddenly now Muhammad he decided that from now on nobody go around the Kaaba naked tens of thousands of people they did that and Muhammad now in control of the city of Mecca and nobody have a problem with seeing women and men going around the Kaaba naked but when Muhammad he decide to have a woman in his bed because of a woman he changed the naked rounding around the Kaaba because he don't want anyone to see her naked no more and he want her and actually all the references coming from Islamic books all the reference we have coming from Islamic books you know you know if you read my books you will not find one one thing I said there is coming from uh, atheist book or a, a book written by like you know when you debate the uh, when Shabir Ali he started debating with some Christians who do not know anything about Islam he started quoting for them the writer his name is Shish Kabab Falafel he said who's Shish Kabab Falafel who's this guy Now anyone can write a book you see if if you quote if you quote saying Christian Prince saying that who is a Christian Prince in order to quote somebody he have to be a person who is high rank in this religion not in the library of somebody writing something someone is accepted by the religion not even by uh, a group of people who give him a degree he is a source of knowledge where the people of this religion they get their source of knowledge and questions and answers from him so now when you say to me that this is the guy I get from him this guy he said his name is John uh, John Jockey uh, Jackie Shan I mean who is Jackie Shan this is what they do do you see what this guy he said who, who is this guy when we show you here in front of us those are the real early Muslims witnessing for what happened on what Muhammad he said and what he did witnessing for the companion of Muhammad those are not people who came 700 years after like Ibn Kathir or 800 or a thousand year and start to make a, a book trying to explain to defend Islam you see if you remember my debate with the guy his name Sheikh Ruhi from Egypt he said those books are made to defend Islam to solve a problem to solve a problem they have a problem we need to solve it how we can solve it we make books and what those books for those books is made for a reason we are going to not to explain the Quran nobody you know if you read the interpretation of the Quran there's no explanation it's a defend it's like a lawyer is preparing his case to defend something this is what the book of interpretation is about so here we have people going in the state of nudity around the Kaaba and as we showed in the reference if you if you have my book six and Allah you will find the real reason behind Muhammad forbidding people from going around the Kaaba and he forbid it only when he wanted this woman before he had no problem you see if you read all the hadith all the hadith of Islam do you see anywhere Muhammad is standing against this making a speech against it Muhammad he lived in Mecca for the first 40 years of his life from Mecca living in Mecca he never spoke against it now Muhammad he claimed to be a prophet after that and he stayed in Mecca for many years still before supposedly he did uh, leave and still Muhammad never there is not even a single story speaking of Muhammad going making a speech saying shame on you to do this in the house of Allah all what Muhammad says worship Allah why why Muhammad is not upset from people going in nudity naked men and women is that a sexy club all of this is coming from the temple of the moon God 
the black stone it's a collection you know the resolution is a collection the black stone the black stone present many things and the Yemeni stones present many things the black stone present the vagina where this is a stone coming from the God of fertility send it to us to help us to fertilize so what the women used to do they used to place their hands over their vagina when they have their period and those women who the one who do that is the one who cannot or they have a difficulty to get pregnant so what they do when they have their period they touch their vagina they place their hand in, inside the black stone and then after that the men who is circulating around the Kaaba they come and they touch the black stone with their penises excuse my language we are not using a bad language for any reason we are just this is education pure education uh, let me show you Uh, let me see here maybe I can find a little reference here to uh, about this because you know the Muslim they will say oh, this guy is lying where you get this from where do you get this from huh you are a liar all right okay I'm a, as you I mean you're a liar this is the only answer they have Here we go. And as usual, you know, we show you everything from pure Islamic uh, uh, websites. Nothing of our own. All right, this is aliman.com, very, very Islamic Sunni website. Very, very Islamic Sunni website. Nida ul Iman, Mawqi'u Kullul Muslimin. The site of Nida ul Iman, which means the call of faith, the site of all the Muslims. All right. Here, they are giving interpretation, here starting from the chapter of Al Baqarah, verse number 126. And this is speaking about Abraham, how Abraham, what he did, uh, etc. And then suddenly here, we see the following. And I challenge any Muslim to say I'm making things up. It says, Allah, he said to Adam, Allah, he said to Adam, لَكَ مَا بِهِ كَمَا يُطَافُ حَوْلَ عرشي. I send down to you, so what you can circulate with, the same as you circulate around my throne. Oh, let me take the, the, uh, the book off. Sorry for that. So I send to you what you can circulate with, the same as you circulate with around my, my 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 throne as if it is really important to circulate around something i mean you see how stupid this religion is what circulate i mean so we cannot worship allah unless we circulate around something are we ants have you ever seen ants circulating they do that it's like a party party so why we need to circulate anyway however here as you circulate you know i can take it as a symbolic but this is not this is a, 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 a this is physical circulate here around the stone allah he sent down and then allah sent down it says here adam min ardi al -hindi ila mash, ilayhi mashiyan. allah he sent him sent adam to the land of india and we showed you that before and he did that walking read carefully with me mashian and when he arrived to mecca so when he arrived to Mecca, the, the angels, they said to him, hey, 
uh, uh, bless your hajj hmm? hajj is the pilgrimage you go around the kaaba and and he's and they said to him the angels and we did hajj too to this house 2000 years before your time and here it says and wahajja adam arba'ina hijja and adam he did 40 time hajj from the land of india to mecca ala rijlay walking in his feet imagine i showed you just two days ago how this is stupid i mean do you know how far it is to go from mecca actually the the, the india here talking about is sri lanka is sri lanka you can watch you can watch on youtube you will see the muslim scholars explaining how allah he sent the first time he sent adam he sent him to sri lanka so adam is sri lankan anyone here from sri lanka brother be happy you've been honored now you are a special person so adam every year he go not every year i don't know how, how often I, I, I don't know. every year it's impossible but he did hajj 40 times and i know why why 40 times because 40 is a holy number if you notice in islam these numbers are holy three seven and why he is copying that is from the bible by the way this is not everything muhammad everything he have is is a is a uh, is a copy is a, is a theft how many days jesus he fast 40 how many times jesus said you you forgive the sin for your brother 70. how many days god he created and etc and in the, the the last day seven how many we have you know like what we say uh is called the trinity three if you go and search islam all of it is based on those numbers number three do you remember before uh, uh just uh, last week this Abdul, he called, he said, you are lying. The Muslim don't start their prayer with the three takbir. They say Allahu Akbar three times. You do that or you don't do that. That's what Muhammad did. Are you saying to me, Muhammad is not a Muslim? Are you saying to me, Muhammad is not a Muslim? Hold on. As long as we are talking about this, let me show it. We don't say we don't say things without proofs. We don't say things like this. We don't make things up. Let me find it here. Read with me. The Messenger of Allah said to me, uh, etc. Blah 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 blah. No, no, wait, wait, wait. We recite Allahu Akbar thirty-three times. How many times? When we, this is about what Muhammad do, but this is not about the prayer yet. We say th uh, Allahu Akbar thirty-three times. What thirty-three? Thirty-three is the age of Jesus. Otherwise, I challenge the Muslim to tell me where the thirty-three is coming from. I mean, what is unique about the thirty-three in Islam? Is that the age of Muhammad who became prophet? No. What is that? What is the 99 in Islam? It is the multiply of the name of Jesus. You see, the Muslims, they carry a rosary in their hand. This is something they copy from the Christians. Some of you may, might think this is a Catholic stuff. This is, this is you're ignorant. This has nothing to do with the Catholic. The early Christians, they made the rosaries simply to remember how many times they, uh, they said the prayer. How many uh, uh, times they are reading the Bible to, to help them to count? So the rosary have 33 rocks. Each time you pass a prayer, you push one stone. All right? This is have nothing to do with the Catholic, as some naive of you will say. Uh, so Muhammad here, 
he is copying from the Christians the 33 which is multiply of number 3 which is 99 if you go and see the rosary you will see at the end of it there's a three stones the Muslims they have three stones at the end this is from where this is the father the son the Holy Spirit Muhammad replaced it by in the name of Allah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim <laughs> Now, if we continue, we will find the following. All of those actually mention the number three. Read with me here carefully. Uh, Whenever Allah Apostle returned to, to from Ghazwa, he do what? He say takbir three times. But this is still not, we are just, just showing you the three the three number, how it's much influence in Islam. When he when he returned from the attack, Ghazwa is attacking the neighbors, stealing their money, raping their women. He say takbir three times. Why? Nobody knows why. No Muslim can explain to us. Let us continue. What about the prayer? Hmm. This is all over, you know, all, all the story that it could be three times, three times, three times. I can show you tons of them, but we want to go and see the prayer. Where is the hadith? Uh, the problem with this website, you can search for like uh, I tried many times, like it doesn't give you give you the exact thing you are looking for. All of this is 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 the same, but I, I want the one where he started with the prayer with the three time. Uh, this is endless here. Look, hold on. I have a better solution. This here. All right, I think we found it. That's better. I saw the measure of Allah. Remember, everything the Muslims did do is based on what Allah Prophet said, supposedly. I saw the measure of Allah when he started the prayer. When, when he do that, when he started the prayer, not at the end, not when he start, he say, Allahu Akbaru Kabira. Kabira is just repeating the for the last word. Like he is the big Akbar, not as some uh, ignorant they think that the word Akbar means great. The word great in Arabic is Azim, 
and Allah have 99 names one of them is Azim already so why you want to call him Azim twice you know what I mean it's the same as the ignorant who say that the word Allah is a word mean God well in the Shahada why the Muslim then don't say there's no Allah but Allah they didn't say that right if the word Allah is just a word mean God then the Shahada should say there is no Allah but Allah as you see here Muhammad he said Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar and he do that three times <clears throat> this is in the beginning of the prayer but why no Muslims can answer us and nobody knows why why number three is all over Islam everything is based on number three you do sujood you do uh, sujood which means bowing down and then you say Allahu Akbar three times I mean what why can you tell me why and look how many three times repeat in the same story. So he said Allahu Akbar three times. And then he said Allah Alhamdulillahi uh, Kathira three times. Okay. Well. Thank you Allah three, uh, uh, three times. <laughs> Why three times? Anyone knows? Okay. And then he says Subhanallahi Bukratan wa Asila. Glory to Allah morning and evening. How many times? Three times. What's happening here? Is if Muhammad he said this word or sentence once, what would happen? Is it short? Is it not enough to prove that he mean it? Why three time? That is the number of perfection, as simple as that. Nothing is perfect in Islam unless it is a three time. What make the marriage, uh, uh, the divorce uh, perfect? Is it the, the number three time. You divorce your wife three time, it's final. That's it. She can't get back to you. You divorce her first time. You divorce her second time, you divorce her third time, and after that, that's it. She cannot get back to you unless she go and sleep with someone else. And this is in the Quran. So number three, three. Uh, uh, how many days Allah He told uh, 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 you know Mary? Uh, if you go in the Quran, if I type the word three, All right. <clears throat> the one who cannot afford to do etc. in the Hajj, what he he have to do? He have to fast three days. Okay, why fasting in three days? What about fasting four, seven, ten? Why three days? What is special about three days? Chapter two, verse one one ninety six. When when a woman she uh, uh, get divorce, what she have to do? She have to wait for three periods. Any Muslim can tell me why? Who is the Muslim in the text can tell us why? Why the women, if she got divorced, she have to wait for three period. By the way, here it says a three monthly period. This is false. It's a three period of her blood. This is not about month. The period here means the period. Women period. Why she have to wait three period? If a woman have a first period, the Muslim they will say to you because Allah He wanna be, He want us to be sure that the woman is not a bread net. That's funny. That's very funny. A woman she have her period already she isn't a bread net. You do not need to wait once, twice, three time. What three time? What about to be sure we wait for ten period to be more sure? You know what I mean? What about we wait nine months? <laughs> Does it make sense? Why three times? A woman she is divorced. She cannot go and get married again until she have a three period of blood. Who is saying that? Allah. Allah cannot be mistaken. Now we continue. <clears throat> A divorce is only principle twice. After that, the party should either hold together, etc., etc. What, 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 what does that mean? What? Hold on, hold on. Translation. الطلاق مرتان. After that, the woman she is gone. Which means if, if the third time it's it's gone. You see the same chapter. Let us continue. <clears throat> 
in the chapter of Ali Umran. The chapter of Ali Umran. Okay. Allah speaking to a person, and this person, he said to Allah, Zakariah, uh, uh, Umran. Uh, uh, you know the, all the stories about you know he about about the father of uh, uh, John the Baptist supposedly. So Zechariah, he said, uh, you know, you know, he got the news. The angels they said to him, "You will receive. Uh, you will receive a son." Hmm. What? I will receive a son. What are you talking about? An old man, and my wife is an old woman too. Okay. This old man who received a sign from his God and a message from his God that you will have a son. There did Zechariah pray to his Lord, saying, Oh my Lord, grant me into me, grant into me thee, a progeny that is a pure. So Zechariah he prayed supposedly to Allah. Okay. While he is standing in the prayer in his chamber, the angels called him. Allah doth give you the, the glad tiding of Yahya. Yahya is John the Baptist. I told you everything in Islam is a theft, but they changed the names. John, Johanna became, Johanna became Yahya. Witnessing the truth of the word of Allah. And read here, by the way, the, the, this verse is very important uh, because this is, this is something stolen from the Bible. What John the Baptist would do? What John the Baptist would do? His name is Yahya here. He will witness to the word of Allah. Who is the word of Allah? Anyone knows? Anyone knows? Who knows what is that? He will witness to the word of Allah. Is that the Quran? What is that? Who knows? Who can help me? Jesus, thank you very much. This is exactly what the Bible speak of. You see, you see, you see this religion. You see this cult. This is like you know. There's a guy in in, in YouTube. He said, uh, uh, Is, "Islam is so much the same." He's a Muslim, and he is like he, he have a propaganda. He keep posting against Christianity. He said, "We Muslims are very close to Jehovah's Witnesses." <laughs> he is right. Jehovah's Witnesses believe in gods. Not God, gods. They believe, you know, if you go and read the, the Bible according to Jehovah's Witnesses, false translation, false Bible, they say, in the beginning it was the word, and the word was it with a God, a God. There's many gods. And this is what you Muslims are, same as the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses. Here, if we go and try to understand this verse, because a Muslim, he might say to us now, "Oh, you are fabricating now." Where it says here, he's witnessing to witnessing to Jesus. Where he where it says that? Where where? Huh? Why you are a liar? It says here he's witnessing to the word of Allah. Okay, well we can go right now and see uh, the interpretation, chapter three, verse number thirty-nine. Let us see what the Muslims they say about that. Read with me, guys. Who is the one is giving the interpretation for the Quran? This is not a Christian prince. This is not Christian prince. I hope that some of you will will cut this video, part of this video, and make a video about it. The Quran witnessed something very, very, very dangerous here. Muhammad, he just got himself busted. Muhammad now is just exposed. Look. The angels, namely Jibreel. I hope the text is coming clear for you. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. This is not a Christian prince website. This is not a Hindu website. This is not Buddha website. This is a government website owned by the King of Jordan. The one who claimed that he is from the family of Muhammad and that explained why he is very much corrupt, the same as his family. Now read with me carefully. 
and here we go Phil he posts for you the uh, uh, the page it says here and the angels namely Gabriel called him standing in his sanctuary in the temple at the worship that that Anna means be an try to try you know try to make it English uh, a version reading has in uh, implying direct speech statement God gives you good, uh, good tidings. read here they are saying it in Arabic again of John who shall confirm the word of being from God namely Jesus that he is God spirit guys do you see it do you see it I mean how more clear we want that Jesus is God John Allah created him for a reason what is the reason it is one reason to witness for Jesus what he will witness about Jesus that Jesus is the Word of God and he is God's spirit honestly when I read this I feel like my my body is like you know as, as of like electric shock shock I'm, I'm telling you guys when I read this this is how I feel I feel like as I've, I've been touched by a wire and the electricity is going through my body it's amazing how you spend your day and your night saying to us Jesus is just a prophet and then you say to us that Jesus Jesus is so important to the point God created a prophet John the Baptist is one of the greatest prophets It's not a joke and what is the job of John the Baptist nothing except to witness to Jesus that he is the Word of God and he is the Spirit of God uh, the guy there he's saying to us this is not what the Quran is saying it's tafsir you see guys that the, the deception of the Muslims tafsir is made for what to explain the Quran my friend if the Quran doesn't say that and by the way no the Quran it says that the Quran it says that it says that John he will witness for the Word of God and who is the Word of God the Quran says the Word of God is Jesus hello who is the Word of God in the Quran do you want to show you from the Quran isn't it the Quran says that he is the word of Allah and he is the spirit of Allah? And are you saying to me that you Muslims are stupid, you do not understand the Quran, so this is your biggest scholar, he is an idiot, he do not know what he's talking about? Are you saying that? Are you saying you Muslims, you grow beard and you spend your life studying the books of those guys and then those guys are an idiot suddenly? But because it's very clear that this is a proven Islam to be a cult trying to copy Christianity. It's like Jehovah's Witnesses. This is the Jehovah's Witnesses book created by the Jehovah's Witnesses since Muhammad. And I challenge anyone to tell me why Jesus needed such an amazing preparation to the point that now we have John the Baptist and Jesus in the same time prophets of God you see the Muslim they say both of them they are prophets correct okay why we need to have two prophets in the same time what the point any Muslim can explain to me I mean why, why Allah did not send two prophets in the same time in Mecca uh, his cousin can't Allah make his, his cousin a prophet before him to prepare for Muhammad and why the Muslims when when the Quran speak about the Word of God to be witness what made them take the conclusion to the point that this is must be Jesus thank you very much so how you interrupt those uh, how, how you how you give me interpretation look what this guy said guys let me let me copy let me copy and put it in the screen this is very important
And this is very important. Thank you for making this question. Look what this uh, uh, Muslims he said. So how you do interrupt the verses which directly deny the deity of Jesus? The Quran said, if this book is not from God, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. And this is one of thousands of contradictions in the Quran. How you give me interpretation then to explain how Allah in verse in the Quran says Allah created the sky and the stars first and then the mountains and the earth. And in the other verse, he says he created the earth and the mountains first and then at the end he created the stars. That's your problem. Because when you say that only Jesus is the word of God, you cannot then say that this is mean about Jesus by created by the word of God because this is not a true. Not even Adam was created by the word of God. How Allah created Adam? Did Allah say to Adam, be and he was? No. He made mud. He fashioned the mud. Then he blew from his breath into the mud. And then Adam is not even finished. This is why you see in the Quran, if you read the, the story, that when Allah was creating Adam, Allah breathed into him. And Adam, he tried to stood up, but he could not. So Adam, he said to Allah, finish me before the sunset. Where is the word? Be and he was. Nothing according to Islam Allah created by CMB. What does that mean? How we want to give me interpretation for this verse? And remember, this is your interpretation, not mine. Chapter 17, verse number 11. I'm not going to give you interpretation of my own. I will go to the Quran, to the, to the scholars, the one you like. All right, seventeen eleven. Okay. <clears throat> Read with me carefully. <laughs> you know, Islamic, Islamic, when the Muslim try to explain the Quran, they show you how stupid this cult is. Remember, those books is made to defend Islam. And this is really what they've been taught from their prophet through generations, and supposedly those are preserving the knowledge. So I want to say thank you for the Muslim scholars for preserving the knowledge. And man is ever hasty. What does that mean? Salman al-Farisi, who is the one talking? Salman al-Farisi, the one who taught Muhammad a lot of things about his religion. Ibn Abbas mentioned the story of Adam. Who is Ibn Abbas? The cousin of Muhammad. Thank you very much. And he is the only one, Muhammad, he prayed to Allah to make him Hebrew Ummah, which means the ink of the religion, which means the scholar. When he wanted, when, when, uh, when Adam, he wanted to get up, before his soul reached his feet, what? Yeah, because now Allah, he fashioned Adam. And Allah, he, uh, uh, after he made him from a clay, and he fashioned him, now he breathed into him. So now Adam, his eyes open, boing. And now he look up and look down and he look at his feet. Do you remember the video? It's called Ahmad, the dead terrorist. Do you remember it? Ahmad, the dead terrorist. I kill you. This is exactly what happened. So Allah is creating Ahmad, the, the dead terrorist. Ahmad looked down. He found his feet. He, he found his feet. He have a feet. So now Ahmad, the dead terrorist, decided to stand up. So uh, he, he wanted to get up before his soul reached to his feet. Have you ever heard of a soul reaching to the feet? I mean, what does that mean? The, the soul is reaching to the feet? Are you sure? I mean, say the blood, say the soul. 
I have I have soul in my feet now. Okay, let it go. When his soul was breathed into him, ah, this is after Allah he breathed. Where Allah he says, Allah in the Quran said that this, the similarity between Jesus and Adam, Allah he said to him, be and he was. What? The story in the Quran is different. <clears throat> and in the hadith. So, Look at this here. Uh, man, this website is something. In the method, Isa in the law, Kamathri Adam. Okay, Halakohom in Turab. ثم قال له كن فيكون. He created him. The the similarity between Adam and and the Isa is the same. They are similar. He created him from mud, and he said to him, "Be and he was." But this is not what the what the Quran says about the creation of Adam. This is stupid. This is a contradiction. Where in the Quran Allah He said to Adam, "Be and he was." Any Muslim can tell me. I will give you ten thousand years from now. I'm start counting tuck, 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 to show me the verse in the Quran describing the creation of Adam where it says that Allah he said to Adam and he was huh? that's a lie that's an absolute lie. The Quran confirmed that Allah, He created Adam from mud. He made dust. He mixed the dust with the water. And not only that, the stupid book of the Quran saying that Allah, He, he created Adam in the last moment. Which mean like he, you know, he was late. Well, have you ever believed in this? What does that mean? How Allah He created Adam? Read carefully with me. Translation, please. Man is created of a haste or haste. <laughs> what? What what was happening? Allah is late, you want to go somewhere? Yeah. Allah He created Adam in the last day of the week, Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon. And not only that, Adam. When he he saw Allah creating him, he said to Allah, "Finish me before the sunset." Finish me before the sunset. So where is the word Allah created him by saying "be"? Where where is the word "be"? Any Muslim? In the Quran, if we go to different verse, we will see the following. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> Uh, here we go.
How Allah He made him. But he fashioned him in due preparation and then he breathed into him something of his spirit. And then, you know, let me show you a different translation to make it more clear. Or we can read the interpretation too, what the Muslims will do now, they will refuse the interpretation. Okay. So he made him from dust, from mud. Do you see it? He makes a fluid with, with dust. And then, then he fashioned him. And then he breathed into him of his spirit. Where is the word? Where is where Allah He said be and He was? That is a stupid contradiction. If you go in the hadith, it says the following. I hope the Muslims will not say that Muhammad is lying here. He's a liar. He's working for a Christian prince. It says. Allah created the dust, the mud in Saturday, created the mountains in Sunday, created the trees in Monday, blah, 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 blah. And then he arrived here, he says, and he created Adam after noon on Friday. The, la the last creation at the last hour of the hour of a Friday between afternoon and night. <laughs> and this is what the Quran says Allah created him in a rush because the, the, the night is coming this is why we see in the hadith of Muhammad said that Adam he said to Allah finish me before the sun set because remember at that time Allah he cannot go to Home Depot or to Walmart and buy some flashlight and use it that's it the sun, sun, sun set he cannot work no more so here it says he breathed into him and his breath entered into his body from his head downwards. When it reached his brain, he sneezed, hit you, hit you. And Allah, he's and Adam, he said, Alhamdulillah. Like, what the heck? This guy, he does not know even who's Allah yet. He sneezed, he said, I speak in Arabic too. Adam, he is not finished yet. Before. His spirit reached his foot, as you see here. Now, uh, before his soul reached his feet, do you see it? I'm not the one saying that. He sneezes. That's you. And right away, when he sneezes, what happened? He said, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Adam speak Arabic. Everybody is born speaking Arabic. You see, Arabic is the origin of everything in the world. Allah speak Arabic, Adam speak Arabic. I mean, how in the world we became now speaking those languages? So obviously, Adam was an Arab like me. I'm so proud now. Adam is an Arab. Adam is, he's an Arab from India. Remember, Adam, he was sent down to India. So I am an Arab Indian. And that explains who is Zachary Naik. Brother, brother, sister. Did the guy's name be Christian Prince? And the Christian Prince, he always said things it's not true. First of all, Christian Prince, he said, let us go and read the interpretation. I telling him to throw out the interpretation in coming from the Islamic website. Or the Muslim website, it doesn't say what he said. As an example, when he read for you from the book of Ibn Kathir, if you go to the book of Ibn Kathir, you will find that Ibn Kathir is not even born in the time of Dita. So how did that, that, that going to happen? What the heck? What's happening here? That's too much. I feel like I'm going to explode now and I need to wash my screen from the rain. And by the way, the Muslims, they make fun of my English and my accent. And nobody is like seeing something wrong with Zach and Mike. Anyway, let it go. I'm not making fun of his accent, by the way, but it's funny how he answer and how he say things. And the Muslim like, wow, wow, astonishing, astonishing brother. What do you mean I don't show you? Everything I show in here, this is your website. This is your Muslim website, and this is your false translation too, trying to defend Islam, make it look better. If you go in Arabic, it's more horrible. 
read carefully with me so now his soul reached his feet when his soul was breathed into him it entered his body from his head downward I'm so glad that Allah did not breathe in his willy I mean look how Islam it's too much in duty details Allah breathed into him he want to tell you he breathed into his mouth not like Mary he breathed into her vagina you know what I mean so he want to tell you where the breeze is coming from from which direction brother so he breathed into him from his head downward what do you mean from his head downward somebody told you that Adam Adam mouse was in the top of his head well what does that mean okay what about the second part of the head okay the mouth is in the in the down part of the head from the head downward so that the, the spur does not go up to his brain let it go so when it is reached his brain he sneezed at you and he said alhamdulillah and then Allah said to him may your Lord have mercy on you like what the heck what is that what's happening here Adam he sneezed Adam is at you and Allah and he says alhamdulillah and Allah he says may your Lord have mercy on you so who is Allah how in the world Allah he say may Allah have mercy on you who are you then any uh, any Muslim would like to sneeze if Allah is Allah how Allah he say to Adam may your Lord have mercy on you who is the one who's talking Allah Allah saying may your Lord have mercy on you and why may he's not sure I mean, if I am God, why I want to say, may God have mercy on you, may? You see, this is, this is a statement you say, if you are not God, you are praying to God. Correct, guys? Do we agree? If you commit sin, or if you do do something wrong, me as a human being like you, I have no power to forgive your sin. So what I say, may your Lord forgive your sin. May your Lord bless you. You see, nobody bless anyone except God. When your mother or your father bless you, he say bless you, or or a, or a, a Christian in a church, he is not really blessing you. He's asking God for the blessing. A human being cannot bless anyone. When I say bless you, I, I, I'm just cutting it short and saying, may God bless you for the blessing coming from God. So what do you mean, may your Lord bless you? Obviously, this is a fabrication of somebody. He forget always to switch. If you go right now in the Quran, The Quran author, because he's an official idiot, he keeps saying things that doesn't make sense. As an example, all those verses is about maybe. Chapter 2, verse number 216. Chapter 4, verse number 19. Hmm. Chapter 4, verse number 84. Chapter, uh, let's, let's take this one as an example. Chapter 4, verse number 99. It's, it's the smallest, short, so it's easier to read. For those, there is hope that Allah will forgive. Oh, hold on, hold on. It doesn't say that, you liar. It doesn't say that. It says, for those, maybe Allah will forgive your sin. Asa, may Allah change the translator. Do you see it, guys? Do you see? The, you see how the first translation work on Islam? Why in the other translator he did not say it may be? This God in the Quran, all over the Quran, he's saying, maybe, maybe, well, why you don't say, if you do that, I will forgive you. What do you mean, maybe? Maybe is a statement of someone is not sure and he have no power over it. Here in chapter 5, verse number 52, 
Allah saying, maybe Allah will bring you victory. May Allah bring you victory. So who is Allah then? Obviously, it's a guy making a prayer. But it may be that Allah will bring a victory. Like what? Or a punishment from himself. Maybe. He's not sure. Do you love me? Maybe, maybe. Do you hate me? Maybe, maybe. Do you love me? Do you hate me? Do you love me? Do you do? Maybe. Do you love me? Maybe, maybe. Do you forgive me? Maybe, maybe. May I go to heaven? Maybe, maybe. May, maybe, may, maybe. Maybe, oh Allah, the God of maybe. If you like to find Allah, go to maybe, 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 www.maybe.com and replace the letter O with the letter U when you write come, please. For this is a very much sexual religion. Isn't it Muhammad who said, that Allah, how come Muhammad is sure that in the heaven you will have 70 years orgasm, but here it's maybe. Allah is talking, he say maybe, Muhammad he talk, he speak about 70 years orgasm. If we search in the Quran, we will find it is, look, look at this one, chapter 7 verse number 129. May Allah, maybe Allah, maybe Allah will destroy your enemy. He's not sure. It may be that your Lord will destroy your enemy. Obviously, this is a guy is wishing a wish from God. Is a guy he is saying, making a statement. This is not be God talking. It may be your Lord. This is why when we ask in the other day, the Muslims, where is the prophecy of Muhammad? Because Islam is based on maybe. We Muhammad did not know. He have no idea. Everything is about maybe. He can call. My Skype is open. Who's holding him? All right. Let us see. You know, my Skype, I have tons of messages, and I need two days to, to just read the messages there. All right. Let us continue with the God of maybe. Maybe, Muslims, you will listen to me. Maybe. I'm not sure if you would do that. Okay. <clears throat> Read and look at this. And that it may be their doom shall have drawn night. Maybe. Well, it's maybe. It's maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe, me, me. I'm thinking to make a CD or DVD and sell it in Amazon. It's called Maybe Allah. Huh? Chapter number nine, verse number 18. Allah saying, maybe you will become a believer. What? Huh? Maybe? It may be that Allah, that it may be that they are of the follower. It may be you do not know. By the way, I want to know why a lot of people buying sex and Allah and nobody making a review. I was guessing maybe. They are shy. Maybe 
Allah don't want them to do it. Maybe, I mean, what? Uh, I'm out of all the maybes. A lot of people buying the book and loving the book, but yet few of you made a review. I mean, what's wrong? And don't forget, if you have my books in the German language, the first book, the second book, don't forget to make a maybe review. All right, and don't forget in your review to speak about that. Maybe this book is so beautiful. Don't say that people will laugh at you. Either you say it's ugly or you say it is. <laughs> maybe, maybe, huh? Hmm. All right. Yeah. If you if you did read any of my books, don't forget please to make a review. And by the way, when you post in Amazon, before you post, you can change the name, the the the, the review name. They, they will not show your real name. You can call yourself maybe. You can call yourself a number, whatever you want to call yourself. So you can make a review and your name will not appear. All right. Because I think some people they maybe they don't want to post because they think their name will appear there. Uh, as you see, like you see, uh, many people they call themselves, uh, I think it's thematic, like Amazon customer. What do you make? Okay, let us see. Let's go about more maybe. Should we? Shall we see more maybes? Okay. Asa Allahu an yatuba alayhum. Like what is that? I mean, this is too much poopoo. -poo. Maybe Allah will forgive them. I mean, aren't you God? What do you mean maybe? Huh? Maybe Allah will turn to them. Maybe. Surely Allah is all forgiven, all merciful. So why you are saying maybe? And who? Why you are saying Allah will forgive them if you are Allah? Let us go back to the story of the creation of Adam, because I am sure many of you cannot wait to finish this movie. Tom Cruise is here in this movie. Just you know, this is not true. Okay, I said maybe. I, I meant I meant maybe he will be in the movie. Maybe I'm not. I'm not confirming that. So when he it's uh, when his soul reached his his brain, he sneezed. That's true. He said Alhamdulillahi, praise be to Allah. And Allah said, May your Lord have mercy on you, O Adam. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. Oh, mommy blue. Oh, Adam. Oh, Adam. Allah have mercy on you, maybe, Adam. Oh, Adam, Adam. <laughs> then, when it reached to his eyes, he opened them. Boing, and when it reached his body and limbs, he start, is, is started to stare at them in wonder. Ah, I told you this is this is Ahmad the dead terrorist. If you remember Ahmad the dead terrorist, when he was looking at his feet, he could not believe it. So he was like in wonder, like, what the heck is that? Is that my feet? Honestly, is that my feet? Maybe my feet, maybe it's your feet. So now Adam. His soul is going traveling through the destination, like his nose, his eyes, as you see, eyes. Do you see? When it reached his eyes, unbelievable. When it reached his eyes, and then when it reached his body. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Go ahead, Mr. Muhammad. What do you want to say? Hello? Are you going to talk or no? Okay. Maybe. Maybe the internet, when it reached to his head, he decided to leave. Hmm. When it reached to his eyes, he opened them and when it reached to his body and limbs he started to stare at them in wonder he wanted to get up before it reached his feet but he could not poor Adam poor Adam 
I mean, what the heck is that? Put yourself in his feet. I mean, put yourself in his shoes, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I'm so glad I am not Adam at that day. And look what happened here. Here is the disaster. I mean, this is the most amazing statement ever. Adam, he said in his lifetime. When Adam, he looked at his feet and he could not stand up, he said to Allah, Make it happen. Make it happen before the night comes, you idiot. Make it happen, man. Finish it, man. Why you are so slow, man? Have you ever heard of a, such amazing story? I mean, and you are telling me Muhammad is not a true prophet of God? What's wrong with you? Seriously, seriously, I ask you to repent right now and pray to Allah. Adam, he dare to say to his God, make it happen, finish me before the sunset. You will buy my book to let me be rich. Ah. Is that the same reason you uh, pay Muhammad before you meet him in a private consultation to make him rich? Are you trying to imply that I am making my books to make money? Will you? I, is that illegal? Is that like dishonest? Is that a I mean I'm a thief? My books is my work, my friend. I write books. What's the problem? You see the Muslim when he say, he want to make you look bad. I will buy your book to make you look rich. Oof, mean, that's deep. But hold on, hold on. Don't forget to order it and make it happen before the night comes because the price will increase in Amazon. And supposedly now the Muslim is putting the Christian prince down. You see, guys, Christian prince is making his books to make money. And I was wondering why. Unbelievable. Genius. I mean, truly, truly, you are genius. Did you come with this alone or you called a friend? Be honest with me. Is that like your idea alone? I mean, if this is your idea, you have to make a copyright over it, the same as my books. <laughs> Abdul, I love you, Abdul. I love you, all of you. Make it happen before the night come and order my book, my friend. Actually, there's a Muslim. He wanted, supposedly, to get revenge of me. So he said, Christian Prince, I'm going to buy all your books and burn them on air. I will make a video. I said, like, please. And I was waiting since then. I mean, you know, when the Muslims will buy all my books and burn them. I mean, this is super smart. Please. Who is the Muslims want to make an order right now for like a 100,000 copies of my books and make a video and burn them live? Please, 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 please. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. Maybe Allah will reward you. Mm, nice joker. Absolutely. I'm sure you are laughing at your God and your religion. You see, uh, 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 once a Muslim, he called, and he called to defend Islam. He said, uh, you know, he said, may Allah forgive me. You are making me uh, laugh at my religion. This is the truth. They laugh. They cannot, they, you know, when they hear what we say, it is not me who is being, maybe, okay, let's say, some people, they are gifted to present some ideas in a certain way. But the joke is your God. I cannot make him funny if he's not. I cannot make him stupid if he's not. I cannot make him look dumb if he is not. He is an idiot. What is this? Is that a story? Adam is saying to Allah, finish me before the sunset. How Adam, he knew there is a sunset. I mean, the guy, he just created the Friday afternoon. How he knew that after two hours from now we will have the sunset? You tell, explain to me. Here we go. I am not a smart. You are the smart person. I I want an explanation. Adam, he did not live in the earth yet. 
not even a second he is just being in the process of a creation he is not a created yet how this guy he speak arabic he say alhamdulillah the guy he is just like what the heck he say alhamdulillah and not only that just to show you the madness of this cult Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. If you are subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe. For Allah, maybe we will bless you more if you do that. Uh, if you go, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Mm. You see the idea fly, unbelievable, unbelievable. What I was going to show you, I was going to show you something. What is that? I think I need to, to eat ajwa. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it's gone. The idea is gone. You believe it? Yeah, we were talking here about uh, about uh, the you know make it happen in different place in the Quran when Allah He was creating Adam. The story get more complicated get more complicated if we go here we will find the following فتلقى آدم من ربه كلمات فتاب عليه. Okay, what does that mean? Chapter two, verse number thirty-seven. I'm not going to waste my time and explain. Let us see what the Muslim says about it. Then Adam he received words from his Lord, from his Lord, from Allah, of inspiration. It doesn't say really anything of that. And he, his Lord, turned toward him. And he forgive him. I mean, the translation of Yusuf Ali. I think this Yusuf Ali in his time there's no Google, but obviously he's using the dictionary to find the word, the meaning of words, and this is why it's coming very funny and very stupid. I don't think this guy even he knew Arabic. And then Adam he received some words from his Lord, so he turned to him mercifully. Surely he is foot returning, mercy merciful. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, How, what does that mean? Adam. When he commits sin in heaven, according to Islam, he ate from the apple. Hmm? He ate from the apple. Then Adam, he asked Allah for forgiveness. How this happened? What happened? And how Allah, he forgive him? What is the reason that Allah, he forgive Adam? Let us go and see. This is chapter thirty, uh, chapter uh, two, uh, two, verse number thirty-seven. Uh. All right. <clears throat> And Adam he repent to and, and supplicates to Allah. So Adam starts saying, Maybe Allah forgive me, maybe Allah forgive me, maybe Allah forgive me. And then our Lord said, We have wronged ourselves. So if you forgive us, okay. Now the, the Adam he received words from his Lord and he forgave him. But how the story of forgiveness here happened? What exactly? happened anyone knows why Allah he forgave Adam anyone remember anyone knows okay hold on The reason be, be, be behind forgiving Adam 
uh, is Muhammad. Yes, Muhammad. Give me a second to show you the story. All right. Uh, this website is weird in the design, so I'll try to make it fit. I mean, I don't know what kind of website this website is. How we can make the text fit. M let me search for a different website. This is sunnah.org. This is Sunni Muslim. Um, well, anyway, we can scroll in there, like, you know, just to make it simple. Between the page like this, you know, what we can do. Okay. The Prophet of Allah said, the Prophet of Allah said, when Adam made mistake, which means sin, he asked Allah, I ask you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. What the heck? Adam, he asked Allah for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. Are you sure? Guys, is the text clear? Let, let me do this whole one. Maybe you can find a different website which have a better uh, Zoom script. Uh, I can't even search in Google. Huh? I'm just trying to find a better website so we can read it. Hold on. Okay, here we find we found a better uh, better way. I hope the text is coming clear. I'm not sure really. So Adam, he was saying when he commits sin, it's reported by Umar al Khattab, the companion of Muhammad, that the Prophet of Allah, Allah pray on him and salute him. You see, when the Muslim translate this to you, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As peace upon him, this is a lie. Salah mean pray. Allahu alayhi, Allah pray on him. Wasallam, and he salute him. Said, Allah said, when Adam he made a mistake, which means a sin, he asked, Oh Allah, I ask for your for this for uh, I ask you for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. Allah said. What? Oh, Adam, how do you recognize Muhammad when I have not created Muhammad yet? Like, what the heck? Even Allah was like, what the heck? How, how, how this can happen? How this Adam, he knew? Put yourself in the shoe of Allah. And you just created Adam, and Adam, after a few days, he commits sin. And now Adam is asking Allah for forgiveness. Allah, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Allah is not forgiving him. So Adam, he came with an idea. He said to him, Allah, forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. What the heck is that? But Muhammad is not created. How Adam knew about Muhammad? How? 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 Any Muslim can explain to us. Yes, the story explain 
Hello, it says there, and Allah Himself is wondering. So don't ask me, Muslims, why I'm wondering. As you see, Allah Himself, He said to Muhammad, "How you know, man?" And you Muslims, the funny, they say to us, Allah is all knowing. Allah is all knowing, and He's asking Adam, "How you know that?" And you Abdul. How Allah is all knowing and is asking Adam, how you know that? And as you see that Allah is being astonished here. Like, what? How you know that? And now Adam is going to come with the in explanation for what he, for his knowledge. How you know that? This is not normal. My brother, this is not normal. Even Zachar Naik, he cannot find out. Forgive me, Allah, forgive me. How you know? Look, Adam, he said to him, Oh Allah, look at the answer, guys. The answer is make you dizzy. Will make you dizzy. It's like a drugs. It's like cocaine, heroin, morphine. Adam said, Oh Allah, when you created me and it blew into me, I mean, I hope he's not blowing too much. The spirit, I lifted my head and I saw me. I turn my head up and down. I turn, I turn, I turn, I turn, I turn it around, and all what I can see, just the name of Muhammad around me. I turn my head. Like what the heck? He turned his head up, and I saw, I saw on the throne, written on the throne, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. The name of Muhammad there, the Shahada. Allah, Allah, he wrote in his throne the name of Muhammad all over. Allah keeps saying there's no God but Allah and Muhammad is a prophet. There's no God but Allah and Muhammad is a prophet. No God but Allah and Muhammad is a prophet. So Adam, he left his head up and he saw that in the, in the, in the chair. Now Allah, he wrote that Adam is a smart ass. He said to himself, hmm, this guy, his name is Allah. So who is Muhammad? Who is Muhammad? Let me call a friend. A brother Zakir Naik. Uh, uh, how Adam he was able to know uh, the name of uh, uh, Muhammad in the chair. I mean, how he knew that this is a person. Maybe it's something. You know, what do you think, brother Tatar? Did I accuse him? Admit against the prophet that this is a story. It's a fabrication. First of all, it's proven by science. There's a scientist, his name is Yama Aydula Yama from Japan. It's very well known. And his cousin, Yama Suduki, Suduki Yama Ailai, and his cousin, the very famous scientist, his name is Toyota. The brother Toyota, he said, that it's proven by science, and they found inside the engine of Toyota that there is a statement that says there's no God but Allah and there's no prophet but Muhammad. So it's not only written in the tale of Allah, it's written everywhere. Thank you very much. What the heck? I mean, this is astonishing. Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad before he created the whole world and the throne, my friend. I mean, Allah, he have nothing in his head. Allah and Muhammad. Muhammad and Allah. Who is the one is associating the name of God with the name of a man? Muslims. Allah, your God, he put his name, the name of Muhammad in his chair. Why? I mean, why, why, why? And why you are putting them in one sentence next to each other? There's no God but Allah. And there's no prophet but Muhammad. So what about the rest? Of Allah, he sent 124,000 prophets. Why all the Muhammad name there? So Adam, he left his head up and he found the name of Adam, brother, there. Uh, not the name of Muhammad. So he said to himself, look, look. So I got to know that you would only Join your name with him who is the most beloved to you. Do you see it, guys? The Muslim saying, Allah joined his name to him. Who? Muhammad. Allah joined his name to Muhammad. I mean, who is your God? And you are telling me you worship God. You worship Muhammad. Even Allah, he worship Muhammad. Allah said, O oh Adam. Now you see, here Adam, he hit Allah in the head. This is a shot head. Like, bing. Allah, he got like, oof, I cannot resist this. 
you have spoken the truth wow this is so deep i mean this is so so deep allah said to adam you have spoken the truth i'm so afraid he was going to say to him you are a liar but thanks to allah he said the truth And you Muslims, you say to us, we worship a man. Your God, Allah, he worship a man. Why this madness? Why Allah writing the name of Muhammad? Muhammad, who is he? Who is, who is Muhammad? What's wrong with you Muslims? And Allah forgive the sin of Adam for the sake of Muhammad. Why? And then he said, Allah continues saying now, explaining to, to Adam. He said to him, So I got to know you would only join your name with him who is the most beloved to you. Allah said, Oh Adam, oh mommy, you have spoken the truth. Indeed, Muhammad is the more, more beloved to me than anything than anything you see it guys anything allah is in love allah is in love with muhammad i mean put yourself in the shoe of allah can you resist loving muhammad allah is in love with muhammad and muhammad is in love with the six years old baby girl i mean look at the chain of love in islam Allah is in love with Muhammad and Muhammad is in love with his own son wife. Allah is in love with Muhammad and Muhammad is in love with all the private who are part of the women in the world. He wanted to have all of them. But Allah is only in love with Muhammad. Only. I mean, forget about everything. Allah, that's it. He loved Muhammad and that's it. Nothing else. Muslims, am I am the one saying that? Is it me saying that you will accuse me of lying? Look, look how the Muslim they play dead when I start reading for them. Do you see the text stop? What happened? Where is the, where is the Abdul? Muslims, where is the, where is the, what happened? Where is the Abdul? I mean, seriously, what where, where, where is the Abdul? Huh? Any Abdul have a comment? Who is Abdul when I say something? Any comment? Anyone accuse me of something, saying something not right? Hello? Hello? It's me you're looking for. Yeah, people making shirts about Ali Abdul these days. I don't know what to do. I mean, the revolution in the world, around the, uh, around the globe, this shirt is sold. I don't know by who. And people are buying it, obviously. Any Abdul? Hmm? Not even one? This is a Christian prince speaking to you. <laughs> I mean, this guy who made the shirt is really funny. Uh, <laughs> anyway. This is your religion. So Allah, he said, Allah, he said, you have spoken the truth. Indeed, indeed, Muhammad is, Muhammad is more, be loved to me than anything. That's amazing. So when you ask me for the sake, for his sake, I burden you. And look, look guys, the story continue. If Muhammad was not in existence i would not have created you 
Like what the heck even Adam was created for the sake of Muhammad? Do you see it? My friend, and the story continue, Allah will say that Allah, he told Muhammad, he sent Jibreel to him and he said to him that Allah, he said to me to tell you that if not you, Allah throne will not be created. Allah chair will not be created. The, the pen of Allah, the board of Allah, the earth, the universe, the stars, the sky, everything, the trees, nothing will be created. Every, uh, you and me, we are created for the sake of Muhammad. Christian Prince created for the sake of Muhammad and I was wondering asking myself why I'm created I, I was really confused for long trying to find out why I mean it's not even fair to be created but then to know why but now we find out that we are created for the sake of Muhammad I mean it's obvious isn't it isn't it Allah himself, he is created for the sake of Muhammad because Allah, he created everything to what? To make Muhammad happy, which means all his existence is for the sake of Muhammad. Why, why Allah is exist? To make Muhammad happy. Correct, Muslims? Why Allah is exist? Read carefully with me here. This hadith here says, let me try to zoom out. Maybe we can make it work. <clears throat> Indeed, the Prophet of Allah is the reason for the creation of the uh, of Adam alayhi salam, creation of Adam and the universe. What? 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 The universe created because of uh, because of Muhammad. Yeah, read with me carefully. Allah revealed to the Prophet Isa. Isa, even Jesus is involved here. Look what it says. Alayhi salam, O Isa, have faith. Have faith. I mean, in Muhammad. And order your ummah, your nation, to do the same. If Muhammad was not to ex in existence, I would not have created Adam, nor I have been created heaven or hell. I mean, what do you want more? Jibreel, come to the Prophet, Allah pray on him and salute him, and said, I have not created anyone. Who is more honored to me that you than you? You don't say here. I have created the word, the word. Huh? My name is Olga from Russia. Uh, the word, you should see it in Arabic, how funny it is. Sound like Olga from Russia reading Arabic. Allah Arabic is very broken. I have created the whole world. That is their end, so that they may know that the rank that you possess. All the world they created to know the, the rank of Muhammad. I mean, if Muhammad is the only one I created, that will not make him happy unless he have more people who know his rank. Uh, Muhammad would be proud now. Do you know my rank? <laughs> what is your rank, sir? I'm a surgeon. <laughs> what about you? I'm a specialist in the army. Uh, what about you? I'm a captain. Um, do you know who I am? No, sir. Who are you? Look at the chair of Allah. Okay. Do you see that name? Yes, it says La 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 Muhammad al Zulala. Okay, that is me. I'm Muhammad. Oof. Oof. I mean, that is so deep. There is this report of the Prophet was not created by Allah, would not made the sky or the earth. Or blah, 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 blah. This is Islam, my friend. This is the stupidity of Muslims.
when they speak of Islam as a as a as a religion of God. This is God and this is Prophet. Uh, isn't it obvious this guy is a scam? Isn't it obvious? Any Muslim? Some say it's false. Everything in Islam is false. I say it's false too. <laughs> My friend, anything will make Muhammad look like an idiot. The Muslim, they will say automatically it's false. What about the Quran? When the Quran says that the man have a sperm coming from the backbone and the women have a sperm coming from the upper ribs, why Muslim don't say this is weak? They say, they say it's weak. Even the Quran is, is this is false. The Quran, it's false. My friend, it's the Quran. It's false. I don't care. What what do you mean it's uh, I, I don't care? It's false. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ Issuing from between the lions of the man and the breast of the women. Brothers, sisters, I witness for you that we Arabian men, our sperm coming from the backbone. I have a friend who have an accident in his backbone. Huh? He cannot have kids no more. He have balls. Yes, he have balls. Everything is fine. But uh, he, he have the broken, the backbone is broken. And since then, he cannot have ball. I mean, have have a, have a children. And I know a girl. Okay, she decided to make a jellyfish plastic surgery. You know, they want to make like a balloon in their chest, as they do these days, stupid women. So she want to make a balloon, and they told her it's better if we take the there is a bone in the top which is stopping us from making your balloon so big. So they took the upper side of her ribs, and now she cannot have a sperm no more because according to the Quran. That the women they have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace. I mean, what do you want more? And you are telling me Islam is not from God? Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? How Allah He knew this if He is not God? I hope that those guys who are unmarried who want to have sex today they will not go to the bedroom and start looking for balls in their in the in the in the location of the necklace of their wives. Don't don't do that. There's nothing there. I mean, this is Quran. Hello. Don't do that. Huh? And women, don't try to look for uh, you know like uh, the bones of the man because the sperm coming from there and think like you need to make a massage to it because this is what is missing. It is not the reason. The bones have nothing to do with this. Yeah, the Quran says women have a, have a sperm. What, what, yeah, actually, this is true. Once I was walking in the beach of California in the front of the hotel. It's called "Welcome to the Hotel California." This is a true story, by the way. Um, are you going to believe me? I mean, you believe in this? You don't believe my story? How come? So I was walking in the beach and I saw a woman. She have something white in her chest, in the upper side of her chest. At that time, I was naive. I have no idea. I thought maybe this is a lotion for the sun, Nivea, something. But after I did read this, I was like, what? This woman, she is a very dirty woman. She was doing masturbation in the beach. And she come and she have the, the sperm in her chest. Obviously, she have a breast testicles. True story. Any Muslim have a comment? about the knowledge of Allah and the knowledge of the Prophet and the knowledge of Islam. Hello? You know what? I am interested to see what Ibn Kathir want to say about this. Because Ibn Kathir, uh, you know, he always tried to defend Islam. Uh, Ibn Kathir is a person who is, who you know, who supposedly lived between the Syrian, born between the Syrian and Syrian are educated people. So let us see what this this is not hadith. This is Sahaba follower. Guys, this is not hadith. This is Sahaba follower talking. All your Quran is collected from Sahaba, you idiot. So what we will do now? You see how smart they are? This is not hadith. This is Sahaba. Do you know what hadith means? Hadith, not necessarily your prophet speaking, Abdul. Hadith is anything reported about or by Muhammad. He did or he said. 
This is what hadith. This is what hadith, my friend. Now, the Quran, all of it is reported by the Sahaba, my friend. Not even a single thing written by Muhammad. So what we will do now? We will, re we will reject the Quran. Isn't it the Quran? All of it is collected by the Sahaba, the companion of your Prophet. Anyway, um, I'm not going to stay long today with you. Today is a Friday night, and you guys, maybe you want to have some time with your family. Uh, and maybe next week, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm leaving, uh, I'm going on a trip abroad. And as I promise you, I will do my best to do live broadcast. Uh, today I ordered, uh, you know, like a uh, uh, portable computer to take with me. I will try, I will do a test after I finish from here to do a broadcast just to test to see if it's going to work, you know, because I don't know if this computer is capable to do live broadcast or not, uh, if it can handle it or not. Uh, uh, if not, then I will do live, uh, I will do, sorry, I will record videos. I'm not sure even this computer is that because the memory is so small. Uh, you know, I will do my best and see. Uh, we ask people to help us, but only a few people there is small. So we get something, I'm not sure really if it's going to work or not. However, if not, I'm going to record videos during the time I will be abroad and I will be posting in YouTube. I hope you guys, you have a good time with us and you are learning. The purpose of what we do here is not to make fun of Muslims. I don't make fun of Muslims. I don't hate them. I believe they are not enemies, they are victims. I believe they need our help, not hate. I believe they need to see the name of Christ and to see how much he loves them and he wants to save them. I believe that we are here to open their eyes and to save them. I am not making fun of any Muslim. I'm making fun of the false prophet who did deceive hundreds of millions. Islam is a shame. And you have to be mentally ill, suffering from mental illness to believe in this garbage. Do I need to be a great uh, scientist to understand that man has no sperm coming from the backbone? Do I need to know that women have no sperm coming from the location of the necklace? Do I need to be a genius? If the one who is talking there is Allah, Allah is a false God then. This is not God. God cannot say stupid things like this. All the stories we saw, it's a proof that Islam is a stupid religion made by an ignorant guy. Even Muhammad in the Hadith, he mentioned that women and man Bad search engine, hold on. Uh, we don't want that. Hold on, give me a second. Just to show you how stupid even the idea to believe that Muhammad is a prophet of God for a second, you know. <clears throat> okay. Let us see here.
the Muslims who can speak Arabic, I know not many of them, but at least maybe we can have two or three. All right. A Muslim, uh, a Jewish guy, he came to Muhammad and he asked him three questions, which nobody knows except a prophet. And Muhammad, he said, قال جئت أسألك عن الولد قال ماء الرجل أبيض وماء المرأة أصفر فإذا اجتمعا فعلى ما مني الرجل مني المرأة أذكر بإذن الله translation in the Muslim translation in English they try to fool you and they try to add the word substance and the male substance what substance what substance even the hate itself expose you with the false translation the prophet said trying to explain how the baby will become a male boy or a girl uh, he said uh, the reproduction of a substance of man is white so take a note here when the muslim they try to make it like here they say chromosome and genes what a chromosome what a chromosome muhammad says it is white and yellow I mean, do you see how stupid the one who tried to fabricate to cover the ass of Muhammad? How in the hadith he is describing what is the, 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 the water is. The water he's talking about is the man water. It is yellow and thick. Oh, sorry. Doesn't show the screen. Hold on. I think Jabr Jabril, he's, he did that, guys, not me. Okay, read with me. Sorry for that. So the man he asked him about how the baby was, you know, he will become a boy and the, and the girl will become a girl. So he, Muhammad, he said, the reproduction of substance of the man. And here it doesn't say really reproduction of the substance. It says ma or rajul, ma or rajul. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hold on. Let me show you how Muslims did the the same sentence, the same word, the same etc. Have different translation in the same website. Hold on. I mean, have you ever heard of fabrication more than this? Okay. Here we go. Guys, do you see the word ma arrajol? You see it? The man's water. How in the world became substance? Any Abdul can tell me? The man water is thick and white. What does this have to do with the chromosome? Anybody can tell me how we can add the chromosome there? The chromosome is white and thick. And the women water is yellow and thin this is the chromosome chromosome uh, can you introduce yourself to us i'm a chromosome sometime i am white and thick if i am a chromosome of the man and sometime i am yellow and thin if i'm a chromosome of the girl <laughs> and look at the genius muhammad which of them comes first the child will resemble the parent which means he will be a boy or a girl i mean are you kidding me he must be a prophet if i get married ever and the sound doesn't sound like it uh, i mean wallah why you made me look like this how in the world i can find a woman she can give me her a chromosome which is yellow and thin unbelievable I'm, I don't feel good now. I want the yellow chromosome, the thin and yellow. So, if you want your son to look like the mother, which means a girl, then you let her come first. Whoever come first. I mean, do you see the wisdom here? Do you see? Do you see the the knowledge, the astonishing knowledge? How Muhammad he knew this? Huh? If Muhammad is not a prophet of God, how he knew this? I know now what happened with every one of you. Who of you is a male? Give me one. 
The one who is a male, give me one. Rene, are you a male? We start with Rene. Rene, are you a male? Or female? Phil, you are a male. Okay, Phil, I have a news for you. It was your father who have orgasm first. Hello? It's obvious. Rene, sorry, Rene, you are not a male. That means your mother, excuse me, have an orgasm first. You see, we, we know now what happened in the bedroom of every one of us. My father, he have orgasm first. Bad boy, bad boy, my dad, what you did? What you did? I know now what happened. I know, I know what happened at that night. I know who come first. La 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 la. I mean, this is knowledge. This is astonishing. Now we knew how the baby become a boy and the baby become a girl. And how in the world you reject Muhammad to be a prophet of God? Who? How Muhammad he knew this? Allah told him. This is a pure knowledge. Let us see how many Muslims will leave Islam today. Uh, Naif is Assad. He is afraid to call me because I will make fun of him. I mean, uh, Naif, you are afraid I will make fun of you, my friend. Be afraid to go to hell. This is what they're afraid. I'm not going to make fun of you. Why? Uh, is, th this is not about you, Naif. This is about Islam. This is about your prophet. I have no idea who are you. I don't care really uh, if you are short or tall, or if you are black or white. I am here to save you, my friend. I'm not against you. Why I want to make fun of you? Is it you who said that? If this is you, I will make fun of you. This is Muhammad who said that. So don't worry. Be happy. And you know what? You want to really be, be follow this man? Uh, isn't it obvious that he's a liar, a scam? What kind of a man? What kind of a prophet he say this? No? Huh? It is correct after six man, his back is heavy and tired. <laughs> Abdul, you see how how stupid what you just said. What this what, what this have to do with you having a sperm coming from the backbone? Will take you two seconds in Google, and you will find that there's no sperm coming from any backbone. What tired? So what if he's tired? Oh, my back hurt me because I had a lot of sex. This is what makes Muhammad say that. Because Muhammad is an idiot. He thought about it. They have too much sex, so their back hurt. It must be it's coming from rear. From the backbone. This is what air had hurt. Backbone, backbone. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Backbone, backbone. And now, what about the women reps? Naif, I want your solution for the women reps. Is it true? Like any of your wife, she have sperm coming from her reps, and not all her reps, by the way, the location of the necklace, which means you see if your boot finger, if you put your finger where the, the ribs met with your neck, like the victory sign here, you know, where your neck meet with your chest. This is a taraib. It's not all the ribs. It is that location specifically. The location of the necklace of the women. Women, they wear short necklace to show. So it's going to cover that area, which is between their ribs and their neck. The hole there. According to your prophet, this is where, according to your God, Allah, this is where the women sperm is coming from. First of all, women have no sperm. I trust me, even Arabian women. Yes, we are different. This is true. As an example, we Arab are different. We are the smartest in the world. You know, we are the first one who discover dictionary channel. We are the first one who change the direction to watch poor movies. Uh, we are the first one, you know, number one buyers for uh, perfume to drink it, not to use it uh, is, is Arab. We are we are the Arab. Do you know, guys, that every year tons of people, they die in Saudi Arabia because they drink perfume? 
they cannot find alcohol around so what they do they buy perfume imagine and they die perfume is very dangerous it's full of alcohol but because they are mad about drinking anyway i think we have uh, enough for today i hope uh, mr naif and uh, the muslims who are listening they will listen carefully my friend this is cannot be from god god don't say stupid things god is not a fool and he don't want want you to be fool foolishness is against god will lies is his enemies whoever make lies is, is an enemy of god and obviously your prophet is lying to you is any your enemy too he is deceiving you he want to send you to hell so the quran the hadith all the muslim stories confirm one thing that this one you call him allah is not exist and muhammad is a scam and you muslims are afraid to debate me because you just worry about being laughed at why why you think people will laugh at you because you know Islam is a stupid religion this is the truth You are convinced inside you, as as naive he said, he's afraid to call me because I will make fun of him. But why what make him think this way? Because he knew that this religion is stupid and he will make fun for sure. I cannot defend it. So I will look stupid if I call him. This is what naive is saying. But my friend naive, I am here to talk to you. And to help you to understand better, not to make fun of you. All of us, you know, we are ignorant about something. Here we go. Sometimes I do not even know how to pronounce some words in English. I never read them before. I do not know how to say them. So what? We learn. First time I came to America, there's an American guy. He wanted. He was very nice to me. And I told him, you know, we weren't in the church. And then after the church, I said to him, I'm hungry. So he said, okay, let us eat. So then he wanted to take me. We went downtown, and he said, let us eat hot dogs. I said to myself, what's wrong with those Americans? And this guy is a Christian? He's a Christian, and he eats dogs? Like, what? I What? I said, what, what you want to eat? He said, hot dogs. And I was saying in my head, what? what, what they eat dogs here. He said, "Come on, look here." And we go here. I said, "No, no, I'm not hungry no more." I said, "What? What do you? What do you mean? You told me let us go, and we drove all the way here, and now you don't want to eat." Yes, I don't want to eat dogs. And not only dogs; they are hot. Like, look, look how how nice they are. They will not eat cold dogs. Only hot dogs. So. You can be ignorant about something doesn't make you stupid. You are just, uh, you know, you just find out. I mean, what's about the problem? It's not your specialty. You are born into a religion, born of a family, believe in that, and nobody taught you. So, the same as nobody taught me that hot dogs it doesn't mean anything bad. The same as I heard that George Bush, his vice president, his name is Dick Cheney. I said, what his name? His name is what? Dick Cheney? What's wrong with those Americans? The president he chose a guy, his name is Dick Cheney, to be his vice president? Because I learned something else about this word. I mean, what? Being ignorant is, is, a, is a normal thing in life, actually, you know? You see, after all my knowledge about this cult, it's called Islam, I'm still ignorant about it because there's a lot more to learn. Don't feel bad. Feel bad for staying ignorant. Feel bad that you don't want to learn. But being ignorant, yeah, why not? I mean, we learn every day. Life is a process of learning. Tomorrow, for me, is not the same as yesterday. So tomorrow I should be less ignorant than yesterday. Otherwise, why I'm living? To just uh, go to the bathroom and eat? 
like a goat? All of us, we are ignorant in somehow, somewhere. How many, how many knowledge in this life there is, and we have no idea what it is. People, they go and have a PhD to study the ants. They spend years of their life to study their a, a kind of an ants, not all the ants. So life is full of knowledge, my friend, and what we know is very little. Human being claim to have knowledge, but yet. You go to the doctor and he tried to practice his medicine on you as if you are a rat and then you die maybe the same as Allah in the Quran you remember maybe it may be Allah so ignorance is 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 uh, is part of our life people used to die by millions because of a flu stupid flu and now flu can be coming back with more dangerous, which the medicine will not work for it, and millions will die. Time will come and they will find the medicine for the cancer. And, the, and you will find that the medicine is very simple. But we are ignorant. We do not know what is the medicine right now. Some people by millions dies every year, if not tens of millions. Ignorance, my friend, is your death. There's a physical death because of ignorance and there is a spiritual death and that is more dangerous. Islam is a spiritual death and we are here to help you to overcome your ignorance. You know, when I always I read the Bible, each time I read a page, I did read this page before and I read it again. But I read it again, I learned something new. Because the Bible is the book of inspiration. God speaks to you. God, He don't want people to recite and repeat without knowing. Bismillah, man, Bismillah. What is that? I mean, what, what, what's the point of this? There's no point. You are repeating what Allah said. Isn't it boring? Imagine you are a person who have a son. You love him very much. And this son, he called you five times a day. You answer the phone. Before you say anything to him, you say, Bye. He hang up. Like, what the heck? He called you again after two hours. Bismillah, What's wrong with you? Are you stupid or what? Say something. You want to call me all your life repeating the same word which I said? Imagine somebody calling me. He called me and he played my recording saying to me, do you hate me? Do you? Do you? Do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do do you? I mean, this is amazing. Five times a day, I will change my number. I will move. This is the most annoying, stupid, boring behavior ever. You are not even praying. You are just repeating what your God, he said to you, supposedly. And which is very silly. And there's no point of it. All right. Let us finish with here. I want to say thank you guys for being here with us. Um, tomorrow I will not do broadcast, but Sunday I will. So be with us tomorrow, uh, Sunday, uh, around 4.30 as usual. Invite your friends and tell them about what we do. And feel free to support us if you like to support what we do. You know, we have a, we have a link for donation for those who care. If you don't care, it's fine. No problem. May the Lord bless you, all of you. And he loves you all. Uh, uh, this coming Sunday, I will be on air 4.30. And um, 
after that i will update you about when is going to be my schedule for live broadcast if i can do broadcast because as i said i will be overseas and my time will will change so for sure i cannot do it right now like this time this is impossible where i will go is going to be way late all right so i will update you subscribe to my channels to my facebook to my battery on to minds.com etc and you will be updated and for sure subscribe here so you can be acknowledged about what is next thank you very much may the lord bless you all and this is a christian prince was with you exposing the false prophet the false god the god of violence of hate which is called allah and his false prophet who no one knows his real name who is called by muhammad Yet the history of books or the books of history says his real name is Qatham, not Muhammad, who no one knows who is his father, who who knows no nothing about him, except they claim that he's a prophet. And when we investigate this man, we find that this man is suffering from mental illness and madness and stupidity, and he cover himself with lies. And lies bring shame and shame bring disgrace and there's no prophet of God will bring that to himself for he is not going to be promised to be with God unless he is obeying his Lord everyone goes where he belong the one who belonged to the garbage he goes to the garbage the one who belonged to Jesus he go to Jesus I belong to the living Messiah the one who is alive even in the books of the false religion is called Islam you Muslims do you want to believe in a dead man he himself expose himself by every word he said or you want to follow a person who commit no sin who did no crime who made an amazing miracles who teach amazing teaching and nobody can bring something even close to his his name is the Messiah and I invite you to believe in him there's no name better than his name under the Sun or above there is no one is more holy than his name and I am just a servant who is asking God for forgiveness for what I did and what I try to do because sometimes we try to do something right but it come wrong but God is our witness we do our best to come with what is right and if you come with what is wrong that because you are a human anyway and you are not perfect and because we are not perfect we need the perfect one to guide us and to be with us by him and for him everything was created and by him we will be saved Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord keep you in peace and health. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.